In this video, I'm going to teach you about the Legos of music. No, this is not clickbait, hear me out. So music is this profound, complex thing, and there's so many elements to it, and it can be so confusing. What if I told you all of music could be summarized into something as simple as a Lego brick? Here is one note. One note is the same thing as having one Lego brick. Two notes. We have two different things that can be built together to create something. These Lego bricks are what we refer to as intervals. More simply explained, intervals are combinations of whole tones or whole steps and half tones or half steps. When we put these whole tones and half tones together, those combinations equal intervals, which are basically the Legos of music. Let me explain. Starting with the open E string. That's one Lego brick. We go to the first fret and we get a sound that's very familiar and has been used in quite a few films. That is what is referred to as a minor second interval. We go like this and we get another sound. And to further the Lego analogy, it would be like taking one piece that we originally had with our first piece and swapping it out for a different piece. This is what we would refer to as a major second. Now, if we go again from zero to third fret, we have what's called a minor third interval. Fourth fret, major third interval. That sounds familiar. Then we go to the fifth fret and we get what's called a fourth interval, not major or minor, it's neutral between the two. The sixth fret, we get what's called a tritone, also known as a diminished fifth. The seventh fret, we get the fifth interval, which is perhaps one of the most widely used intervals in all of music. The fifth interval is what creates power chords, root and fifth. We go to the eighth fret, we get an augmented fifth, also known as a minor six. The ninth fret, and we get a six. We go to the 10th fret, and we have flat seven. And then we go to the 11th fret, and we get major seven. And then here at the 12th fret, we have the octave. Now you might wonder, why isn't it called the 12 tiv? 12 tiv. In diatonic scales, we have a root note, a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and then the eighth note in the scale is the same note as the root. That's why we call it the octave, or octave as some people pronounce it. However you put these together, whether you're playing or much like creating something with Legos or drawing or any other art form, how we put these pieces together will determine the overall sound, the overall feel, the overall mood for whatever it is we're playing or creating. <laughs> If you are looking to deep dive into guitar and want to improve your playing today, I have a link to a packet in the description of this video that I think will help you tremendously. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next video.